Hi, today we will use Moku Lab in some ultrasound sonic experiments to measure small distances. Moku Lab implements up to 12 instruments in one reconfigurable device. We will use the rapid reconfiguration of the instruments and today we will use four of them. We will use the frequency response analyzer, the oscilloscope, the waveform generator, and finally, the phase meter. Firstly, we will characterize the frequency response of the transducers and sound path through the air. Secondly, measure the distance with the time of travel of a reflected pulse of sound. Thirdly, make a very precise measurement by measuring the phase changes of the reflected ultrasound signal. Here is our experimental setup. Together with Moku Lab, we have an ultrasonic transmitter and receiver mounted on a rail with a belt driven by a servo motor. The position can be finely adjusted by the belt driven by the servo motor, capable of 1.8 degree movements. With 30 teeth on the pulley and a belt with 2 mm pitch, the servo steps correspond to 0.3 mm so we can adjust the distance with a great deal of resolution. The first question that arises, what is the frequency to use them at? To figure this out, we are going to use the frequency response analyzer of Moku Lab. This will plot the power attenuation of the entire path from the transmitter input through the air transmission medium bouncing off our acoustically reflective target and back to the receiver. The transmitter is connected to the swept sine wave output of Moku Lab, the receiver to Moku Lab's input. Let's launch the frequency response analyzer instrument. It takes just a moment. We need only one channel. So let's turn off channel 2. On channel 1, set the sweep in a typical ultrasonic range from 20 kHz to 120 kHz and run. Pinching and zooming on the iPad lets us examine a bit more closely and dragging out two cursors, one for fre frequency and one for magnitude, we can clearly see the peak response right at 40.11 kHz. Great. We can be confident that our ultrasonic transmitter and receiver have an optimal channel amplitude of 40 kHz. In the second part of the ultrasonic experiment, we are going to measure distance by measuring the round trip time of a reflected pulse of ultrasound. Let's take a quick look at the basic numbers. We know the speed of sound in room temperature is 342 meters per second. So, if we can accurately measure the time travelled by the sound, we can readily determine a distance. Now we need to think about setting up the transmission of the ultrasound. In order to measure the time of travel of the sound, we need short bursts of 40 kHz, so we know the start point. To generate repeating pulses, we will use a second Moku Lab's waveform generator. While the first Moku Lab operates as an oscilloscope, and measures the time of delay from the pulse being transmitted to the pulse being received. OK, let's set up the experiment. Using a blue Moku Lab, we will run the waveform generator instrument and then configure channel 1 to be an output 40 kHz sine wave. We select the end cycle mode and this enables 10 cycles of 40 kHz every 100 milliseconds. Using the same iPad, let's switch back and control the black Moku and configure an oscilloscope instrument. We want to examine the transmitted pulse of ultrasound and observe the delayed pulse, the reflected signal at the receiver. And right away we see the transmitted signal in blue on channel 2 and the reflected signal in red on channel 1. Let's drag a cursor out to the peak of the reflected signal. We're going to move 300 steps or 90 millimeters. Of course, one step is 0.3 millimeters. 
As the transducers move closer to the target, the reflected signal delay reduces, as can be seen on the red trace. Also, the amplitude increases, as we would expect. Once the servo stops, we drag another cursor to the new peak at 1.452 milliseconds, and MOKU oscilloscope shows us the time delta of 520.1 microseconds. Let's calculate the distance from the time of travel of, of the reflected wave, and we see this gives us a distance of 88.9 millimeters. This agrees well with the estimate of 90 millimeters. In the previous experiment, we measured a distance change to an accuracy of a few millimeters using the round trip delay of a pulse of ultrasonic sound. But you really cannot measure fewer than a few millimeters without much precision. A phase meter is an instrument that accurately measures the phase of a signal. Moku Labs phase meter tracks and records the phase, frequency and amplitude of two independent signals, and it can do so with a precision greater than six microradians. So how can the phase meter measure small, even quite tiny distances? Our ultrasonic sound at 40 kHz travels at 342 meters per second. Thus, one wavelength is 7.77 millimeters. If we can measure the phase of the reflected wave, we can measure distance well below one wavelength. The MOKU Lab phase meter not only measures phase with very high precision, it also accumulates or integrates these measurements, so we can observe the distance as it changes. So, let's set up MOKU Lab's phase meter. First, configure the output to 40 kHz, 1 volt peak to peak, and turn it on. Now, looking at the phase meter input channels, we set up the input frequency to 40 kHz. This is the frequency at which the phase meter will attempt to lock, setting 1 volt peak to peak input range, and almost immediately we see channel 1 locks. Let's switch to phase and bring up the time series logger. Now, as the transducers move away from the target, we can see that the phase cycle count steadily rises. And at the furthest distance, we reach a peak cycle count of 20.6 cycles. And returning to the start point, the cycle count is very nearly zero. Let's recall the maths. The distance is one half cycle count times the speed of sound over frequency. We need that one half because it's a reflected wave. Running the math, this comes to 88.1 millimeters. Excellent. This agrees very well with our prior measurements, but this is a much more sensitive measurement and very sensitive to changes down to the fraction of a millimeter. Thank you for watching our MOKU Lab ultrasonic experiments.